Canon, if you continue to make your mirrorless cameras with this design, you run the risk of potentially alienating up to one third of your customers. I like to do polls on my YouTube channel. 566 people responded, 200 of which were left-eyed dominant shooters. And so we saw this in the R, I mentioned it, saw it in the M50, didn't make a video on that one. And now we're seeing it again on the RP. And as a disclaimer, I like the RP. I'm hanging on to this. It's a great camera. In fact, I would go so far as to say this is a home run for certain kinds of shooters, and I'll have that review coming to this channel shortly, but I wanted to make this video specifically for Canon and specifically for left-eyed dominant shooters to warn them, you may not like shooting with this camera with one exception. You know, we'll talk about that in that upcoming video. Here's the problem. If you use primarily your right eye, in the viewfinder, so if you're, you're looking through the viewfinder, here comes your right eye, right? Your nose is over here. And what Canon is trying to do is they've taken away the joystick and they want us to use this, this touch monitor. Right-eyed shooters are not gonna have a problem with it because their nose is over here and when they have this free real estate. There's this thing in the menus on page, red tab page seven, touch and drag AF settings. This allows users to designate what portion of the back monitor they want to use to change their focusing square while looking through the viewfinder. Again, right-eyed shooters aren't going to have a problem. Left-eyed shooters, you're going to run into some problems, and here's why. If your left eye is here, your nose is right here. If you've been shooting with DSLRs and using joysticks, you're used to using you know, your right thumb. You can't do it when your nose is in the way, and not only that, your nose is going to bump the touch monitor. Can't really put it in that area. I think the thought here was to say maybe bottom left originally. Okay, users can use their left thumb. Maybe they can get used to it. You know, over some time, it'll become natural. That's probably what they were thinking. Actually, you can't because as you put heavier and heavier lenses on, you're not going to be shooting like this. You're going to be shooting with your left hand under the lens and you'll be back to square one. So using the left thumb as a control is not viable. You can't use the right side and there's no joystick. So our options are learn to shoot right-eyed, which is like saying learn how to write with your opposite hand, or you can customize the directional pad, which is really the last resort. As somebody who is a primarily left-eye shooter and I'm holding the camera like this, you know, with a fairly tight grip, taking my thumb and Bending it around while I'm trying to hold onto the camera, this is not comfortable. And some people may not notice this when they're shooting. You know, left-eyed shooters will be like, why is this not so, this isn't very fun. You can make it work if you have to, but if you're changing your focusing squares around a lot, it's almost a deal breaker. The RP has some redeeming qualities, and again, I'll be addressing that in a future video. So having said all that, I just want to make Canon and left-eyed users aware we need a joystick. You should do a cost-benefit analysis of, of having that joystick in the natural resting thumb position so left-eyed shooters can have an option to move those around and, and change the sensitivity in terms of how fast it moves. I also believe the stills to video button, start and stop recording, I still think it needs to come in. Great job removing the touchpad. I was not a huge fan of that from the R. Great job on the mode dial. Ergonomically, I like the RP significantly more than the R. Still not sold on where the AF on button is. We need some tension control with our thumb and you run the risk of bumping into it. But for the most part, this is an improvement. In my opinion, I think this is getting far better in terms of the ergonomics and usability, but Canon has to address the left eye problem. In any event, I have free tutorials on YouTube for the R, the RP, and the Canon M50. I'm a huge fan of the M50 and the RP. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.